Hello friends, welcome. It is Rachel here and today I am making a scrapbook layout using the Garden Party Collection from Maggie Holmes and this video is for Scrapbook Nerd. Um, I am on their design team and this is uh, the project that I have made for them and I have this picture of me in my garden last year um, in the springtime prepping it for the season in my my new overalls that my husband had got me for my birthday, my first of two COVID birthdays. And um, yeah, and so I thought there's no better collection to document my garden than the Garden Party Collection. Um, if you haven't been following me for a while, I uh, love to garden, specifically uh, I have a vegetable and fruit garden, so I have uh, tons of raspberry plants, and I have strawberry plants, uh, a cherry tree, and then we have tons of tomatoes, uh, grapes, peppers. Um, we're trying out a few new things this year, so we'll see what happens. I think we have some zucchini coming up. So it's, I do not have a big backyard at all. Um, basically what you see there, plus one or two other beds is all I have, like one and a half beds <laughs> is what I have. And then we have a little sitting area and that's all our backyard is. But you know what, we love to garden, or at least I love to garden. Um, and it's really cool to have your own fruits and vegetables grown in your own backyard all summer long. So I love it. And what I also love to do is I love to layer in my scrapbooking layout. So you can see I am just layering up all of the ephemera here. I feel like I used half of that pack. <laughs> I have that blue um, ephemera that I layered with that black piece that says how lovely the, si the silence of growing things. I love that quote. I have been waiting to use that for a while and I finally got the chance to because this picture is perfect for this collection. And then uh, we have the ephemera that says my happy place and um, two different tags there and a little label. And then the title is gonna be my garden. And in this picture, there's no plants in my garden yet, but you know what, that's okay. It's still my garden, whether it has plants in it or not. We were just prepping it for the season, getting the soil all ready and um, yeah, I really, I really love the font that they chose for um, those, the uh, thickers there. I love that font. I think it's really beautiful and um, a simple black. And I think it just ties in really nicely with this collection and with the cursive words that are in this collection as well. Um, I also should mention in the layers, I have a doily and that's just for my stash, just in case I got that question. Um, and of course I added my photo on some white paper. I like to have that distinction, distinction, dis distinction, there we go, between um, the paper and uh, layers and the picture. Just adding the stickers and the lovely little details. I have uh, that sticker that says you are so loved and um, I think that is just so beautiful. Um, all the lovely little stickers that come in these collections are just so stunning and so sweet. Um, I'm using one of the last flowers from that pack, those layered flowers, and I think that fits perfectly in that spot. I know the quote is covered up a little bit, but I still really like that and how it came together. Um, and then I'm going to make a little cluster at the bottom and a little cluster at the top, and I'm so happy with the way this page came out. I'm gonna add a little bit of chipboard and uh, just trying to use up, I have two chipboards, I'm trying to use up one of them. And uh, I love this collection so much. I'm gonna go through with the little uh, sticker book. It has mostly clear stickers, but not all clear. Um, and just grab some little tiny word stickers and continue that cluster at the bottom of uh, the page. And I know this video is pretty short for what I normally do, but it just came together so quickly. When you're working with a collection you love and you, I mean, I never come in with a vision. I never come in with an idea of what I'm going to do unless I am working off of a sketch or a scrap lift. Um, I usually am just kind of um, 
just going for it. I start with the layers and then I go from there. There may be a piece of ephemera that I like or there may be um, like this title. I wanted to use this title and I wanted to use that quote. And I just kind of built it up from there. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm adding all the little bits and pieces now, the finishing touches, and then you're going to see some close-ups. I did a little bit of sewing details around the outside and um, in other little spots as well. And I'm going to use some uh, black, just like mist spray stuff to uh, make some black splatters. And I think I went a little too crazy with the splatters, but you know what, in the end, um, I still love it. I think it turned out great. I'm going to leave all the links down below for Scrapbook Nerd if you want to go check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!